Today on the channel, we take a look at the brand new WWE Mattel Elite Ringside Collectible Exclusive, Brett Hitman Hart. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Defining Moment Ringside Collectible Exclusive Unboxing and Review. And today on the channel, we got the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. We got Brett Hitman Hart. But for all your Ringside Collectible Exclusive needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And of course, these new defining moments do come in a nice little shipper box here, as we've seen. Very cool packaging design. I do really like this a whole lot. Very similar to the retros that we get from Ringside and uh, Mattel Creations as well that uh, everything fits inside this box. I, of course, am going to save this box, and I'm going to use it to store, like, baggies of hands, things like that. So I'm here for that all day long. And then, of course, we do got the packaging on this one. And, of course, we have been comparing them to other Defining Moments. And here's the last incarnation. As you can see, the last incarnation of Defining Moments, a little bit bigger. And then you go to old Bret Hart from the first round, and you can see kind of that slope of how packaging design has changed over the evolution of the Defining Moments line. And the biggest part that is missing from this new Defining Moments is, of course, the big window in the back. And we'll talk about that in a little bit as well. But I always want to point that out. Some packaging changes, uh, design changes. Uh, you know, just trying to be better for the environment, I think, is what they're trying to do here. And, of course, shipping and all that kind of stuff. It does save money. Can you imagine? Your cargo containers, you're coming across the sea, all that kind of stuff. Well, if you shrink the box way down, all of a sudden you get, you know, five more in a big box. And then you add, you know, ten more on a pallet and so forth and so forth. All of a sudden you're getting a lot more stuff shipped across the ocean at a cheaper price with more stuff is what you're doing there. So it's all logistics at the end of the day. But there's the old Brett, the Hitman, the heart right there looking good in the Defining Moments packaging. Similar but different to the old ones. You got the ringside collectible exclusive sticker right there in the front. You got the big window box. Got to say, this Brett looks very plain Jane in the packaging here, though. Uh, it just really does. That black jacket, we know there's a design on the back, but it looks very plain in the front. So it just kind of gives a little plain vibe for a defining moment. And some, I guess you could argue, you can argue anything's a defining moment, but is this one of the true defining moments of Brett's career? I think the last one we saw in defining moments definitely was uh, the big Canadian invasion, all that kind of stuff going on. This one is a defining moment in Brett's career. I just don't know if it's quite up there. It's probably top five, I think so, but who knows? There'll probably be more Brett Hart defining moments in the future. Got old Brett on the side, looking only like a Brett could look if he's in defining moments in 2023. Same thing over there. On the back, we got the big old blurb. We got the big old glamour shot at the top as well. Brett looking only like a Brett could look once again. Of course, we did see this in, uh, was it, Jack's Class Superstar Series 3. I believe we saw the same Brett Hart as well. Uh, let's read the blurb. Let's see what it says about Brett. Brett Hitman Hart and Rowdy Roddy Piper were no strangers to each other. In fact, Hot Rod used to train in the infamous Hart Dungeon back when Brett was just a child. At WrestleMania 8, however, they would be opponents facing off against each other for the first time for the coveted Intercontinental Championship. Through the, though the iconic Piper was a wily ring veteran, the Hitman proved to be the craftier of the two by pinning Piper's elbows to the mat and showing why he's the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. And in some ways, that match kind of felt like Hogan Warrior on a lesser scale to me as a little kid. Of course, I was a couple years older from WrestleMania 6 at the time. I was a huge Rowdy Roddy Piper fan. He is still one of my all-time favorites, and I've said it before on this channel. That era of Rowdy Piper was my favorite. Yes, it's true. I was a little too young for the WrestleMania one time. Of course, I enjoyed his WCW stuff, but that was later. But for me, my childhood, that was the heart of Roddy Piper. That win against the Mountie was such a big thing. His announcing time frame, kind of his longer hair going on. That was prime Roddy Piper time for me. Maybe you as well. And Bret Hart, of course, I always loved the Hart Foundation from a little kid. And then you saw him going into singles career, and this was kind of where his intercontinental title reigns, all that kind of stuff really did take off uh, from here as well. So truly a defining moment. Just not sure if it's the number two defining moment if we're trying to go in some kind of an order here. But very cool. And, of course, we'll compare this to our Roddy Piper figure later on in this video. So stay tuned for that. But without further ado, 
Let's get old Bret Hart out of the package here. See what all the fuss is about. And I think there's been fuss. There's always some fuss with Bret Hart. There's no, no, no denying it there. I keep forgetting, too. You got the background action. We're going to pull that out. There that goes. See you later. Goodbye. We get Bret Hitman Hart and then a little Bret Hart autograph down there on the bottom, kind of. So a nice little stand, a nice little thing there. In the package, you really can't get the full grasp of this. It's in the background. It's blocked by the figure. You can't see this. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to pull this out, tape it together, make yourself a little stand. I guess choose your own adventure, what you want to do. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Brett, Hitman Hart in the package here. We got Brett. We got extra hands. We got the uh, black leather jacket. We got the glasses going on. An interesting Bret Hart, an interesting one. And, of course, like all these others, he's locked down at the hands. They don't want Bret going anywhere. They don't want him throwing any fists. They don't want him sneaking out. They got him locked in the package, but not anymore. I got him out. He's ready to pull out. There we go. Pop the hands out. Maybe. Oh, there it is. See you later. Goodbye. And we do get two gripping hands for Bret Hitman Hart here. So you got the two open hands. Of course, you got to have those to do this with Bret. And then you got the gripping hands. You know me. What's missing? Oh, we're missing a fist. But is what it is at this point. Is what it is. But now we got Bret Hitman Hart out of the package. He's got a little uh, plastic rubber band over his head to make sure. Make sure those glasses do not fall off. I do appreciate that because there would be nothing worse if you're a mid-on card collector and those glasses fell off or they're kind of halfway dangling down his face. Uh, that's not a good look. That's for sure. That is for sure. Now, this is Brett in the all pink and black attack. Every once in a while, Brett would wear the all pink going on. Pink singlet, pink pants, pink knee pads, looking really good. Pretty in pink, some may say. You got the old Hitman logo right there on the singlet as well. Very good looking Bret Hart. I love the four hearts down there for his kid, but I kind of love how they're like bleeding hearts or whatever. I don't know what you would call those there, but definitely very cool there. You got the iconic little star on the boots. You got the white and pink boots looking really, really nice. Man, I'm here for this all day long. Looking really, really good. Love the all pink. It definitely feels different, but I always do prefer the pink and black attack to the all pink. But definitely it is WrestleMania 8, no doubt about it. You do get the leather coat here, of course. Pleather? I don't know what we would call it here, but you get the leather-inspired coat on Brett. And you do get that very interesting Hitman logo on the back. Definitely, I wouldn't say iconic. I would not say it's iconic. And it looks almost like something out of a heavy metal band or something like that. It looks like something to be on a Creator album. Who knows? But definitely different from what his designs went to later. And definitely a moment in time. And didn't they have like a WWE Most Wanted Treasures recently? I watched it. And I can't even remember what code it was. But I feel like this is the jacket he got back. I could be totally wrong on that. Somebody fact check that. David C. Anderson, fact check it. There you go. Uh, but definitely a cool one here to get the jacket with him. I like that extra little touch. Only problem is it's so plain Jane in the front. This is where I talked about earlier that window packaging and defining moments would have been just awesome for this. You could have looked through the back. You could have saw the design on the on the jacket. If you're a bit on card collector, you're never going to see the jacket design. So it looks a little strange, a little, a little funny there. Of course, you get Bret Hart. And Bret, I don't know if there's ever been a superstar. Uh-oh, I, I just threw the glasses. What are we doing here? Where did they go? Nope, oh, there they are. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? The Carpet Monster almost won again. Almost won again, but we're going to take those glasses off to the side. But you do get Brett in his glasses. We've seen this Brett Hart head. Is this a Survivor Series Brett Hart head? I believe it is. I don't hate this one. I do think it looks like Bret Hart. The problem is he always has too much forehead, not enough forehead, too much hair in his face, not enough hair in his face. It's just somewhere in between. But uh, it does look like Bret Hart to me. You got the long black hair, stringy black hair going on. Uh, no issues with this Bret Hart head. Of course, the glasses, somewhere in between. Uh, they're not the greatest. They're not the best. I would like to see them use the Jack's way of doing things with kind of the soft good glasses. I don't know what the uh, official term is. But I would be okay to see the, uh, Mattel try that at least one time. I don't hate these plastic ones. Uh, they're just not a game changer like uh, we want them to be, I think. Of course, it would be nice if they had the sticker design over the top on that Bret Hart glasses as well. They don't have that. But they're nice pink glasses. They definitely get the job done. I think uh, they work with for what they're trying to do. There's no doubt about it there. Of course, Brett's got the open hands here. You give the old Brett classic pose there. How many of us went around the old playground back in the day pretending to be Brett Hart? Give him, give him one of those every once in a while. Oh, you know you did it. You know you did it. Does Brett Hart fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle, save 10%. What do you know? He does fit on a stand very good. I'm here for that all day long. Of course, articulation is going to be the same as all the other Mattel elites here. We can walk through it. You've got your arm articulation all the way around, of course. you got the old bicep cut. 
Double jointed, pinless elbows. Are they pinless? There's only one way to find out. Uh-oh, wait a minute here. We're going to go a little deeper into here. I see something. I see something that reminds me of a young Orange Cassidy, really, is what it reminds me of. And I think you know what I mean. I think you know what I mean here. If I can get this hand out. Come on, hand. There it is. So this makes me a little bit nervous. I just saw this here. I'm going to pull this coat off, pull this jacket off. Oh, watch out. What do we got on Bret Hart here? We've got tape around the biceps. We have tape around the biceps. Well, we know why that tape is there probably, don't we? Do we think it could be to prevent staining? I think that is the case. So that does worry me that this jacket is going to stain the figure. Why else would Mattel put that there? I think they're worried about it as well. Hey, you're a men on card collector. You're never going to take the jacket off. That's one thing. You don't really got to worry about it. Uh, but that is definitely something to take note of right there. Uh, for those keeping track at home, you could have some staining with this figure. Uh, it kind of leads me to believe that. I think that uh, the dots connect. The dots connect that there's going to be some staining with this. Uh, but it's Bret Hart for sure. And like I said, double jointed pinless elbows are there. Hands back forth, side to side. Ab crunch, head back forth, side to side. Let's see if the head's removable on this one. Oh, there it is. It is removable. So uh, most of the time they should be now. Every once in a while we get a stray one though. You get the waist articulation. You get the ab crunch. You get the legs, of course, articulation. You get the thigh cut. The big old Bret Hart splits if you need them. You get the double jointed knees. Not pinless in the knee department. Boot cut and then ankle articulation. So your usual Mattel elite articulation is what we got here with old Bret Hitman Hart. And then, of course, you got Hitman on the back of his pants. Always nice to see that Hitman logo. A good figure, no doubt about it. It's always good to have more Bret Hart figures. There's still probably a lot of Bret Hart figures they can eventually get us one of these days, and I'm sure they will within time. And then I did grab Hot Rod Roddy Piper. I guess this is the old Target exclusive. Uh, close enough, I guess. Close enough to be dangerous, we'll call it on this one. But love Roddy Piper. Would love to see some more Roddy Piper figures in the future. I think there's a lot of cool ones they could redo. There's a lot of other eras and a lot of different ones they could do. Probably not the one from WrestleMania 6. They're probably not going to do that one again. But a lot of these other ones I think they could update. We could see maybe a Greatest Hits line, a Legends line, something like that. And I would definitely be here for it. So there it is. WrestleMania 8. Brett Hitman Hart, a true defining moment, and everybody loves a defining moment. What is your defining moment? I remember a defining moment for me is uh, about a year out of college, of course, paying the dues, trying to get a job. I finally did work my way up in a company after, I think it was like two years, and I finally became a sales rep for this company, which was quite the badge of honor back in the day. I'm almost bringing you to tears because it was a very select crowd that got that job, especially back then. And I was one of the youngest ones to do it. So I was very proud of myself, very proud of my accomplishments. And I always go back as I've had a lot of promotions in life ever since then. But that one I worked so hard for. I worked hard for all of them. But that one I really did feel like it, my time is now. There you go. It felt like it was my time. Uh, like a young uh, Austin Theory or something. Who knows? Who knows? But that was truly a defining moment in my work career. So there you go. But definitely a defining moment. Winning the Intercontinental title from Roddy Piper. Anytime Roddy Piper gets pinned... That's a defining moment for whoever did it. So there it is. Defining moments, Brett Hitman Hart. What are your thoughts on this one? Any thoughts at all? Anything? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And of course, Patreon, where we got videos like this much earlier than traditional YouTube. Bonus content, early access, you, you name it. Q&As, you guys know the spiel by now. It's all over there on the old Patreon channel. You can also support the channel over there, and you can support the channel for us and Tees as well. Don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Brett, Hitman Heart, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.